Hey guys, this is a conceptual question in which we're asked to simply explain why we see the same amount of our body when you look into a mirror, whether the mirror is close or far away. So let's say we've got a little guy. Here's my guy. He's a dude. And his eyes are right here. Now what this problem is kind of saying is that if you, and you can try this at home, is if you have a mirror that's far away, or also a mirror that's close by, in both mirrors, no matter how close it is to the dude, he'll be able to see the same amount of himself in the mirror. He'll be able to see... So, so like, if he's able to see the top of his head and the bottom of his feet in one of the mirrors, he'll be able to see the top of his head all the way down to the bottom of his feet in the other mirror as well. Why is that? Well, it's kind of because of something called the Law of Reflection. And the Law of Reflection states that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. And I'll, I'll do what the problem says and use a ray diagram to show what I mean by that. So let's say we're trying to look at the toes of our feet. So right here. And to see our, to see our toes in the mirror, then the light has to reflect from your toes to hit the mirror. And then it'll have to reflect then into your eyes reflect into your eyes. There's the sound of a dog outside. I'm going to use a black dotted line to represent the horizontal. Now, the angle of incidence is the angle at which it hits the mirror, and the angle of reflection is the angle at which it leaves the mirror. According to the law of reflection, these two angles are the same. The reason why this is relevant is because no matter how close or far the mirror is, no matter how we move it, the two segments of this ray will always have that relationship. So in order for us to see our toes in the farther mirror, yes, we can see that the angle of incidence has to be a little bit smaller in order for it to reach the same point on the mirror. But even though that angle's smaller, this, the next segment of the mirror, the next segment of the ray that then goes to reach your eyes, is, is smaller by the same degree. They change equally. No matter how you change the distance, these proportions don't change. So like in this case, for example, we can kind of see from this diagram that a ray that reflects from your toes all the way up to your eyes will do so as long as it strikes the mirror at this same height. So which is, I guess in this case, about half the height of the person. And that height, as long as that height is still available, then this does not change. So regardless of the distance, these rays will still be able to reach your eyes. And really, that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe or tell your friends about this channel, because that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below. That's all, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.